CataractCoach.com. Focus on efficiency. A superb scrub tech is a lifesaver. Your best friend and your biggest asset during surgery. Let's watch a case. I'm operating here. It's real time. So the inset picture is obviously the surgery, but look on the right side of your screen. Look at the technician hand me instruments. Notice how I do not have to look away from the microscope. She is already getting things ready. Things are in order on her Mayo stand. Look how she's already reaching over, ready to hand me the next one while taking the other instrument. So give one while she takes one. She took the empty um, syringe of anesthetic, gave me the viscoelastic. Now she takes the viscoelastic. Part of that circulated for standing right in the way. And now we'll make our main incision here. But this technician is just so good. She just knows her job so well. And we've done so many thousands of cases together that really it's a belly. Now also look, there's a monitor there. She's able to see that video monitor and see the surgery live. So she knows exactly what's happening at every step. And it's very important to give your technician an ability to see the case happening live. So get our Rexus done here. And again, you can see this is the same picture on that little monitor on the right side of the screen as you see here in the inset. So she's seeing that I'm going to complete that Rexus watch just in time. She's putting things away. She says, okay, that Rexus is get about done. Now look, next instrument in, I don't look away from the scope at all. She takes one instrument while gives another. Took the capsule Rexus forceps, gave me the BSS on a cannula. Now I'll do the high recession. Look at her watching the monitor. She knows, she knows, she knows exactly. She says, okay, you'll do a little more higher dissection, maybe. Let's see. If it does not spin, you will not win, maybe. Okay, there's the lens coming out of the capsular bag. Now she knows for sure. Okay, swap over. Boom, give me a little aliquot of dispersive viscoelastic. Now she knows. Chopper in the one hand, and look, she gets the FACO probe, puts it in my hand right there. Look how she places it as if I'm ready to hold it. Cords already draped appropriately over my arm. I'll go inside here. I'm using the foot pedal now to obviously control the FACO. I chop the nucleus in half. I'll also use the foot pedal to switch modes if I need to choose a different mode. And in this case, I'm just going to do FACO mode right here at FACO chop settings, high vacuum, high flow. Then I'll double click the pedal to go to cortex removal, double click it again to move to viscoelastic removal. That's it, routine case. And you can see, there you go, short work of that nucleus. Everything looks nice and fast right there, excellent. And again, this is real time. You can see the right side of your screen. That's real time with she, uh, us operating. I'm doing the surgery there at the microscope. And you can see she's now loading the lens. Look, she's injecting viscoelastic into the lens injector. She'll switch it over. Look at that very efficiently to the IA probe. Put that in my hand. I don't even look away. Look, I just have my hand up. Boom, the instrument goes right in my hand. I've clicked over my pedal to go to the cortex removal mode. I squirt the eye myself with the, the IA probe. So save her a step. Now she's loading up the lens. Look at that. Preloaded lens, bam, already on the Mayo stand, ready to go. Loaded with injector and primed. Ready. Now take out the cortex here. We'll clean up the capsular bag a little bit. What's going to be next? The cohesive viscoelastic. Look, it's already in her hand. So as soon as I'm done, I'll take the probe out of the eye and she'll do the swap. Take one instrument, give the other. She'll take the eye probe from me when I hand it over. Give me the cohesive viscoelastic. I'll fill up the capsular bag. Now watch again. She'll take the viscoelastic, and then the other hand, the same hand, she'll give me, boom, there comes the lens. Here's the lens. She gives me a little squirt also. Now coming in here with the lens, there it is. I'll use the chopper or the spatula to fixate the eye. Here comes the lens. Let's get this thing delivered in the capsular bag. Dial that right into the bag, and watch her take the injector out of my hand when I'm done. I pull out of the eye, boom, she takes it, and it's out. And so the secret to being very efficient in surgery is the whole team approach. It's not enough that you're just a great surgeon. That's great. That's fantastic. Bless you. But you need to have a whole team. So your, the team here especially includes your circulating nurse as well as the scrub tech. Now, the circulating nurse has a, a little bit lesser role. The direct role is that scrub tech. This scrub tech is absolutely superb. And look at that. Already processing the instruments to take them out of the room when we're done. The next tray is already sterilized, ready to go. And so now I'll come out with the IA probe. What's going to happen? Boom, immediately. BSS on a cannula. And just like that, without any pressure, any rush, a beautiful five-minute cataract surgery. And not just thanks to me, thanks to the whole team, especially an amazing scrub tech. So treat your scrub techs like gold. They're your best friend and your biggest asset. And tune in tomorrow for more efficiency videos.